Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We have made up in our minds to rejoice and to be glad therein, uh, just simply because he has been good to us. Uh, man, I'm so thankful, so appreciative, so grateful uh, for another opportunity to be able to pray with you, to be able to call on the name of the Lord. Um, I thank God for you, for you joining us for day number two of our three days of prayer and three days of consecration. I pray that day one was a tremendous blessing to your life, a tremendous blessing to your spiritual walk. I pray that you've gotten uh, something that we need periodically in our walk with God. I pray you've gotten a boost. I pray that you've gotten a, a shot uh, the way God has given you a shot of faith. God has given you a, a shot of encouragement, a shot of hope. And it just causes you to be able to run on and see what the end is going to be. Uh, so I thank God for you. I appreciate you. And let's go before the, the throne of grace. Father, we thank you. Uh, we give you all of the praise and we give you all of the glory. We give you all of the honor. Uh, we thank you uh, for this is the day that you made, a day that we made up in our minds to rejoice and to be glad therein. And God, we agree with the words of that song. Oh, how do they resonate in our spirit? So how do they speak to us so well? Uh, it's just simply because it, the words are true, uh, that you are good and you have been good to me. And God, we thank you uh, for being good to us. We thank you uh, as we look back over our lives and we look at, at the things that we've gone through and the things that we've experienced and the things that we've faced. Uh, I, I believe, God, the consensus um, is, God, that you have been good to us. Uh, thank you uh, for being so good. And then it goes on to say that you just keep on getting better. You just keep on getting better. And for that, we, we tell you thank you. Thank you for not only being good, not only being consistent, not only being the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Not not only uh, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, you are so uh, consistent and you're so loving and you're so compassionate, you're so compassionate, but yet and still you continue uh, to reveal yourself to us. And every time you choose to reveal yourself to us, it just keeps on getting better and just keeps on getting better. Right, right when we thought that, uh, man, it can't, it can't get no better than this. You, you, you keep on showing it to us again. Right when you made a way for us, then uh, we, we're, we're so appreciative of that way that you made. Then you make another way for us. Right when you heal us, then you heal us again and you deliver us again. And you just continue to allow um, what it is that you express towards us to, to just continue to just be exceeding and abundantly above all we can ever ask or think and it's all according to the power uh, that works in us thank you for working um, in us and working through us thank you uh, for revealing your hand and showing your might and showing your splendor and showing your majesty we, we thank you for that we thank you God because you are just so uh, so consistent and you're just so you're so loving and you're so kind and you're so caring and you're so you're so uh, you care about all of the intricate details of our lives and, and for that god we we tell you thank you uh, thank you for for caring about us and thank you for not just caring about us but but displaying your love it's one thing for you uh, to, to have a, a desire is one thing for you to to have the the might and have the power and have the ability to do what it is that we need. Uh, but but it's another thing that that you 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 have the you have the the the, the heart. You have the intentionality. You you desire to stretch forth your hand. You you desire for us to not to go anywhere else. You, you, we're so grateful uh, that you're not a man uh, that you should lie. Thank you for, for simply not being a man because. If, if you were a man, if you were like us, then you, you, you would get tired of helping us and you'll get weary, uh, of, of always coming through for us and we will weigh you down and, and you would, you would just simply, uh, reciprocate what it is that we've given you. You'll give it back to us. But we thank you for not being a man. We thank you for not being worn down. We thank you that we cannot burn your ear off. We thank you that we cannot get on your nerves coming to you. We thank you that you long for us coming to you. You, 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 
want us coming to you. You you cherish us coming to you. Thank you for that. That where you told us in your word that we ought not to lean to our own understanding, but we ought to acknowledge you in all of our ways. And you promised us that you would direct our path. Thank you for giving us access to your throne. And thank you for for telling us not to not to take matters into our own hand, not to try to figure out our own way and make our own way and plow our own path. No, but you 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 you're not a man in that way, but you want us to come to you. You want us to talk to you. You desire for us to get guidance from you. You desire for us to get answers from you. You want us being totally dependent upon you in every area of our lives. And God, we thank you for that. Thank you, God, that where you told a parable of a of a of a of a, of a unjust judge and a, and a little old lady, and and you said that 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 little lady came before that unjust judge, and and she just asked that unjust judge, "Would you please grant me my petition? Will you please uh, avenge me and my adversary?" And the judge said he will not, and he will not. And he continued to say he will not do it, uh, but the scripture says that even though uh, he would not do it. Because of, 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 of what, she, what she was asking, even though he didn't fear man and didn't fear God, yet because of her importunity, yet because of her consistence, yet because of the fact that she kept on coming and, and, and the, and the word of the Lord says, shall not the, the God of the elect, shall not God uh, of the elect not, not avenge his adversaries who cry unto him both day and night. And God, we thank you for, for you, you, you illuminating that and you giving that to us because the beginning of, the beginning of that says, that men ought to always pray and to never faint. And God, we thank you uh, that where we can we can come to you, God, and we can we can come to you. And, and you're not like that unjust judge. You you're, you're not getting weary of us. You're not like that unjust judge. No, we, we, you're not you're not getting tired of us. But no, you desire for us to come to you. And when we come to you, we we thank you, God, that you you hear us. You said in, in the text, you said that shall not uh, the God of the elect avenge those that cry unto him both day and night. You want us to cry to you both day and night. It, it is suggested that we're supposed to call on you in the morning. It's suggested that we're supposed to call on you in the evening. It's suggested that we're supposed to call on you all day long. The psalmist says seven times a day will I praise you. Seven times a day will I call on your name. That that, that says that we will completely, uh, number seven is a number of completion. We will completely call upon your name. We will completely uh, be able to praise you and honor you and magnify you and trust you in every area of our lives. We give your name the glory and the honor and the praise because we're able to come to you and you will, you will, when we cry unto you both day and night, you will avenge us of our adversaries. There are some of us that are going through situations and we're going through, we're going through things, God, where, where people are fighting against us and people are coming up against us. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, as we come before our judge, as we come before the King of Kings and the, and the Lord of Lords, as we come before your throne, we pray, God, that we'll give the case to you. We pray, God, that we'll give the matter to you. We pray, God, that we will let it go. And, God, we'll bring it to you, God, and we'll let it stay there. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we don't have to try to avenge ourselves. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we don't have to try to make ourselves be right and go around trying to trying to say, trying to uh, trying to campaign to try to show how we're right and show what this person said and what this person did and, and how they did this. No, we pray in the name of Jesus that we'll, we'll bring it before the judge. We pray God that we don't have to be right. We pray that we'll get so wrapped up in you and so and so lost in you God. It doesn't matter if we if we look like we were right. It doesn't matter if we if our if our name is cleared. It doesn't matter that what, what people say and what people do. We bring it to you and God we allow you God to avenge us God. We bring it to you God. We, we, we may go a little further further in our relationship, God, if we, if we stop looking for validation and stop looking to want to be right and stop looking to want to get an apology and stop looking for want somebody to, dub, to double back and circle around and all these things. But God, we pray, God, that we'll let it go. We pray, God, that we'll, we'll be able to trust your scriptures that says, God, that we all, that, that the battle is not ours, but the battle belongs to you. We, we pray, God, that we'll trust the scriptures that says, God, that, that vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, and I will repay. We pray, God, that 
that we'll trust the scripture, God, that we're supposed to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. We pray, God, that we'll trust the scripture and we'll just allow things, God, to, to work out in your time and in your plan, God. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus. I just believe that there's somebody right now, God, that's going through adversarial trials. They have they have adversaries and people are coming up against them and challenging them and, and people are trying to sabotage them and people are trying to, 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 to drag their name through the mud and people are trying to assault them and trying to attack them and trying to take from them. But pr I pray right now in the name of Jesus as being your people. I pray right now in the name of Jesus as being your children that God, you will fight for us, God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll get our emotions from, from being so entangled in this situation. We pray right now in the name of Jesus during this time of consecration that God will be able to detach and disengage from this situation and be able to detach and disengage emotionally and, and physically, God, and mentally. And God, we won't give any more thought. We won't give any more energy. We won't give any more effort concerning it. But God, truly, we'll give it over to you. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, you'll give us a, a mindset and you'll give us the anointing, God, to be able to really cast our cares to you, knowing, God, that you care for us, God. We don't got to fight back. We don't got to get back. We don't got to clap back. We don't got to say back. We don't got to, we don't got to stab back. We don't got to, we don't got to, to do, do anything back, God. But God, we just, we just going to get, we're going to know that you got our back. And God, we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. And we come to you, God, anytime, God, we get aggravated, we'll come to you. And anytime, God, we get frustrated, we'll come to you. And anytime, God, we get our feelings hurt, we'll come to you. Anytime we get angry, we'll come to you. We don't got to go to them. We don't got to chase down rumors. We don't got to say, oh, what you said, or say it in my face, or you got the right one today. We don't got to do any of that, God, but we can come to you, God, knowing that you'll give us what it is that we need in the situation. And God, you ended that, that, that story. By saying, God, that you, that you will, you will, you will hear those that cry unto you. So as much as we need you, God, we're going to cry to you. As much as we need you, God, we're going to trust you. As much as we need you, God, we're going to circle back and double back, God, looking for you to fill us to the full. We thank you for the privilege of prayer, God, because you told us in another place, God, in Luke 11, you talked about uh, a friend that came to his, his friend's house at midnight and he desired some bread and the, and the friend from the inside said, trouble me not. For I'm in bed with my family and I'm not getting up to give you no bread. But the Bible says that he kept on, he kept on knocking. He kept on, he kept on knocking on the door and kept on knocking on the door and kept on knocking on the door. And the Bible says, even though he wouldn't get up for relationship, even though he wouldn't get up because he was his friend, but he got up because of his importunity. He got up because of his consistence. And God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that we'll take that same posture as that friend. And God, we'll keep on knocking on heaven's door. We'll keep on coming before you and we'll keep on seeking you and we'll keep on trusting you, God, because we know that you got what we need. Bread is indicative, God, of, of, of a necessity. Bread is indicative, God, of something that we need in order to survive. Bread is indicative of something, God, that we need to be able to be sustained. Something that we need, God, to be able to be, be, be held up and be successful in this world and in this life. We, we can't make it if we don't have any bread. We can't make it, God, if we don't have any sustenance. And God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we continue to come to you knowing, God, that you got, that you got the bread that we need, that you are, you, you got what we need, God. You, you are our necessity. And God, we're going to keep on knocking, God, because we can't, we can't take it alone leave it with our relationship with you. There's some other relationships that we have. We can take it or leave it. If they never call us back, if we never hang out again, we, we, we'll be okay. We're going to make it. We're going to survive. And God, even our most intimate relationships, our most cherished relationships, if, they, if they're if they gone and never never to be found or never be traced again, God, it, it'll hurt us, God, but we, we will survive. But God, our relationship with you, God, it is non-negotiable. Our relationship with you, God, we can't, we can't do without it. For God, it's in you that we live and it's in you that we move and it's in you that we have our very being. We pray right now in the name of Jesus during this time of consecration that God, you will reveal to your people like never before the necessity, God, of walking with you. The absolute certainty that we need, God, of being your children, God. That we won't take it or leave it, God, spending time with you. That we won't take it or leave it, God, when it comes to being in your presence. But no, God, we want to be in your presence. God, we want to, we, we need 
need to be, we need to talk to you. We got to, we got to long to be with you like, like a deer that painteth after the water. Help our souls to long to be with you. We pray in the name of Jesus that during this time of consecration that God, you'll show us the necessity, God, of, of needing you and longing for you, God, and wanting to be where you are. And God, wherever you are, that's what we desire to be. And God, we want you, God, to fill us to the full and give us what it is that we need. We pray, God, that you'll birth that craving in us. We pray, God, that you'll birth that drive in us. We pray, God, that we'll, we, 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 we'll, that what the scripture said, blessed is he that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. And we pray, God, that you'll give us a hunger for you like never before. We pray, God, that you'll give us a thirst for you like never before. That, God, we'll know, God, that you are our bread. That, God, is in you that we live and in you that we move and you and you that we have our very being. That, God, we, we can't make it without you. God, we can't go a day without you. But, God, it is, it is an absolute necessity, God, that we have to have you. And, God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus if we if we need peace. We got to be like that brother and keep on knocking, God. It's a necessity that, God, we get our peace. Some of us, God, our peace is all over the place. Some some of us, God, we, we, we're, we're stressing out and we're worrying and, God, and we're, and we're frustrated and we're, we're overwhelmed with bills and we're overwhelmed with, 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 with what's happening here and what's happening there. But right now, in the name of Jesus, we got to keep on knocking until, God, we get our peace. And, God, you told us that, God, you'll give us a peace that surpasses all understanding. You told us you'll give us a peace that simply doesn't make any sense. Well, we should be worried and we should be fret. We should be fretting and we should be just all, all, just all bothered. But, God, you'll give us a peace, God, the way you're pulling us together. You'll give us a peace, God, the way you're holding us together. You'll give us a peace, God, the way we're able to continue to move on and continue, God, to weather the storm, the way we can be steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as we know, God, our labor's not in vain. We can know that and we can receive that, God, because we're walking in peace. We we pray, God, that we'll be like that brother, that we're going to keep on knocking until we get our peace. We pray, God, that we're going to keep on knocking until, God, we get our fulfillment. We're going to keep on knocking until, God, we get the joy of the Lord that is our strength. We're going to keep on knocking. Until God, you'll give us God the breakthrough and give us the deliverance and God give us give us the 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 the, the way being made God. Until you do what you do, we give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. Thank you, God, that whatever we need, God is in is in, is in the house, God. Whatever it is we need is in your presence. Help us, God, not to take it or leave it, God. But we're gonna not like this brother. You you went on to say at the end of that story in Luke eleven. You said, "Ask and we shall receive." You said, "Seek and we shall find." You said, "Knock." and the door will be open. And God, that is our desire this morning, God. That's our desire during this consecration. We're not asking you, God, during this consecration. We're not doing this, God, during this consecration to ask you for more cash and ask you for more clothes and ask you for more cars. Oh, no, the devil is a lie. But God, we want more of you. And God, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're longing for. God, the end goal of our worship is you. The end goal of our praise, God, is you. The end goal of our pursuit, God, is you. The the end goal, God, of our chasing is you. The end goal, God, of everything that we do, God, you are our reward. The reward for our worship, God, it is your presence. The reward for our worship, God, it is being closer to you. It is being able, God, to be able to call on your name and you be a very present help in the time of need. We thank you for that, God. You are our reward. You are our sustainer. You are the thing, God, that we're in pursuit of. We don't want any goal. We're not trying to get any money. We're not trying to get any status. We're not trying to God to get, get get you to give us a man. We're not trying to give get you to give us a woman. We're not trying to get you to give us anything tangible, anything in the natural. But God, we're coming for you. And God, when we seek you first and all of your righteousness, and we just leave it with that. When we seek you first and all of your righteousness, when we're in pursuit of you and all of your righteousness, when we're hungry, God, for you and all your righteousness, when we're thirsty, God, for you and all of your righteousness. And God, we pray, God, that during this consecration that you'll birth this in our heart. Some some of us, God, we, we, we don't necessarily get with that prayer. Some of us, that's not our testimony. Some of us, God, do need, we are, we are asking and we are looking for this and we are looking for you to do that. But God, we pray, God, that our heart and our mind will come in alignment with your word and your will. That God, we don't come for the blessing, but God, we come for the blessor. That God, we're not coming, God, for you to give us something else. But God, we're coming, God, because you are all that we 
knee. And we pray, God, right now in the name of Jesus, that we'll be able to lay aside every weight and lay aside every sin. We pray in the name of Jesus that we'll be able to be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that where you will allow us, God, to be conformed even more in your will, to be shaped even more in your will, to be molded even more in your will, that God, that where we only desire you, that we're only looking for you. And when we do that, you said, then you add these things unto us. Oh God, we give you the permission, God, to add to our lives, God, as you see fit. We give you permission, God, to add to our relationships as you see fit. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, for you to add to our spirituality, God, as you see fit. We give you permission, God, to add to our, 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 our finances the way that you see fit. We pray, God, that you'll add to us, God, in the natural, add to us in the spiritual, add to us, God, in every area of our life. And God, you're, you're not even just the God of, of addition, as you said in Matthew, God, that you will add to us, God, who seek you. But God, you're the God of multiplication. And God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus for all those individuals, God, that's been longing for you and all those individuals that's been trusting you and all those individuals, God, that's been in hot pursuit of you, God, that you would not just add to our lives, but God, you will multiply, God, everything, God, that we need, God, to be able to continue, God, to honor you and to continue to trust you. We add, we pray for the, for multiplication, God, the way you will give us multiplied peace and multiplied joy and you'll give us a multiplied breakthrough and God, we'll get multiplied patience and, and long suffering, God, and we'll, we'll be able to do what it is, God, that you've, what you've instructed us to do and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. That's what we're after in this consecration. God, we thank you, God, because we can seek you and you'll give us everything that we need. And we thank you for it. We give you glory for it. We give you honor for it. We pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that where we will just continue to trust you and we'll just continue to wait on you and just continue God to trust you even more and after we've trusted you to continue to wait on you God you said in your word God for they that wait upon you you say you'll renew our strength and God you'll cause us to mount up with wings as eagles and run and not be weary and walk and not faint and God we pray for renewed strength right now in the name of Jesus that's been the word for the entire house God all year long it is a renewed strength God that's what refreshing means it means a renewed strength it means to add strength to. It means to add a new energy to. And God, we pray, God, for a renewal of our strength. Some of us are weary and some of us are tired. Some of us have allowed uh, the troubles of life and allow the situations of life to beat us down and to wear us down and to give us, get get us all to the place where we feel as if that something needs to shift or something needs to change if we're not going to make it. But God, we pray for a renewed strength. We pray, God, that we'll be so renewed in you, God, that if nothing ever changes about our marriage, God, we're going to be all right. God, we pray for such a renewed strength, God, that if nothing changes, God, about our singleness, we're going to be all right. We pray, God, for the type of renewed strength, God, if we don't get another dime, God, we're going to be all right. We pray for the kind of renewed strength, God, that if if, if, the, if if you never fix this and you never fix that, if you never heal this, if you never heal that, then God, we're going to be all right. We pray for that type of renewed strength, God, that we'll, we'll be able to, be, to, to receive strength, God, even while we're in the eye of the storm to receive strength, God, even when we're in the midst, God, of the trouble, even as we're in the midst, God, of the trials, even if we're in the midst, God, of the situation, we pray for the renewed strength. And I speak that over everyone right now in the name of Jesus, everyone under the sound of my voice, to that person that feel like they can't make it another day, to that person that feel like they can't go on, to that person that feel like they're, that their only option is to quit, to that person that feels as if that, that, that nobody cares and, and nobody is involved in their life and they may Maybe it was better for them if they wasn't here. To that person that's dealing with suicidal thoughts. To that person that's dealing with all of the worry and all of the anxiety and all of the, the feeling of angst that comes along with life and comes along with trials. I pray for renewed strength right now in the name of Jesus. I believe you gave us that word, God, for a reason. I believe you gave us that word for a reason for this year. That God, that we're, because uh, we, we have to recover from the heat. We cannot succumb to the heat. We cannot give in to the heat wave. We cannot get heat 
stroke. We cannot, God, be dehydrated. We cannot get to the place, God, that where we get fizzled up and get dried out. Oh, but the devil is a lie. Oh, God, we thank you for the refreshing and the renewal, God. We thank you for the new energy. We thank you, God, that where you're doing something in the lives of your people. And, God, we're in hot pursuit of it. We're not going to stop till we get it. We're not going to stop, God, until you renew us. We're not going to stop until you give us a new energy. We're not going to stop, God, until you give us a new strength, even in our parenting, God, because sometimes in our parenting, it gets challenging. Sometimes, God, in us raising children, it's, it's challenging. Sometimes, God, when we got grown children, God, it, it, gets, it gets exhausting and it gets draining, God, and it gets to be a little too much. But, God, we thank you for the renewed strength, God, that we that we know that these sick, that these children that you gave us, God, you, you they didn't come from us, but, God, you sent them through us. And it's our responsibility, God, to shoot them in a direction, God, like an arrow and shoot them into their purpose and, and shoot them into their destiny and, and shoot them, God, into everything, God, that you so designed for them to have and what you designed for them to do. And we pray in the name of Jesus, we don't get weary in our parenting. We pray, God, that we don't get weary in instructing them and training them in the way that they ought to go. We pray, God, that we don't get weary, God, in showing them the way. We pray, God, that we don't get weary, God, in being that support for them. But God, we pray, God, that as we're, as we're, as we're being this support and as we're, as we're showing them the way and God, as we're, as we're helping them and as we're assisting them, we pray in the name of Jesus that we'll turn them on to you. We pray in the name of Jesus that we'll, we'll, we'll teach them how to pray and we'll teach them how to trust you. And we pray, God, that we'll teach them, God, how to be dependent upon you. We pray for our children right now in the name of Jesus that the enemy will not see a desire upon the lives of our children. Some of us, God, the enemy he tries to go for us so so he's really going for us. He's going after our children and he'll attack them physically. He'll attack them mentally. He'll attack them emotionally. He'll have them all wrapped up and have them all caught up. Have them in the street. Have them in these illicit relationships. He'll have them hooked on this and, and being hooked on that and God is, is really not even is not even really about them but God, it's about the fact that they're connected to us. But right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our children. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our babies and we cancel every assignment of the enemy. We render them powerless right now in the name of Jesus and we cancel every assignment and we cancel every hex and we cancel every spell and every witch and every warlock, everything that's been set up against us. We cancel it right now in the name of Jesus that it has no authority over us or our seed. It has no authority authority over us and our children. It has no authority over everyone that's under our name and everyone that's under our umbrella, everyone under our house and everybody under our jurisdiction. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, the way your blood will cover. We pray in the name of Jesus, your blood will wash. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that your blood will sanctify. We give your name the glory and the honor. We pray against every incident and every accident, every uh-oh, every mishap, every misstep. And we thank you, God, that you're covering our children. We thank you, God, that you're covering the small ones and, and you're covering the grown ones and, and you're with our grandbabies and you're with our nieces and our nephews and our, and everybody connected to us in our family. We pray for our children in the name of Jesus that they will love you and honor you and serve you. We pray for our children, God, the way you'll get a hold of their mind and God, the way you'll back the devil off of them long enough. Uh, as, as Helen Bella says in her testimony, she says she had a praying grandmother and she tells about the testimony, how she was, her life was spitting out of control and, and spinning out of control. Oh, but right, right when, right when the enemy thought it was over, right when, when, when the enemy thought that her, her she about to succumb and about to give in, uh, the, the, she, she said that, that, that the enemy backed off of her long enough to be able to make a decision, to be able to call on your name. And that's what we're looking for, God. We're praying, God, you don't have no respect to a person. You don't love Helen Bella no more than you love us. But God, we pray that you'll give our children a, 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 some, a reprieve. We pray God, that you'll give our children a space, God, that where the enemy will be, will be, will be, will lose his grip just long enough, God, for them to be able to call upon you. We pray, God, that the enemy will lose his, 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 his hold on their life just long enough that where they'll be able to say Jesus and they'll be able to call on your name. And God, just calling on your name, God, will set them free. Just the calling on your name, God, it will cause them, God, to, to be, to be brought out of whatever that they're in. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We thank you for our marriage 
marriages that you're doing it. You're giving us renewed strength. We thank you, God, that you're causing us, God, to have a kingdom marriage. And you're causing us as husbands to love our wives and to honor our wives and, and serve our wives. You, you, you're calling us, God, as husbands, God, to lead our homes and to be the priests and the protector and the provider of our home and to be the prophets of our home. We thank you, God, that the kingdom men are rising and kingdom men are stepping up to the plate and kingdom men are doing what it is that they need to do in their home. We thank you for our wives, God, that you're giving us wise women, God, that's building up their home and building up their husbands and not tearing it down with their mouth and tearing it down with their complaining and tearing it down with nagging and tearing it down with, with, with bickering and all of that. But God, thank you for, for women of wisdom and wives of wisdom, God, that are doing what they need to do, God, to be able to build up their husband and build up their children. We thank you for our marriages right now in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of divorce and we come up against the spirit that want to just simply want to separate and have us separate and have us not together, have us not under the same roof and have us not in the same bed, have us not on in the, in the same side of the house, to have us uh, separate money, to have us separated, God. But we pray right now in the name of Jesus that every man of God and every woman of God under the sound of my voice will fight to get past that separation, will fight to get past that wedge, will fight to get past that thing where the enemy is doing to try to keep us apart and keep us away from one another. We're called to leave and cleave. We're called to leave and cleave. We're supposed to leave our father and leave our mother and leave all of those familiar relationships. And we're called to cleave to one another. We can't cleave to one another, God, if we're in different beds. We can't cleave to one another, God, if we're sleeping in separate rooms. We can't cleave to one another, God, if we're sleeping in separate houses. But God, we pray, God, that we will, that there'll be a closeness, God. There'll be a cleaving to you. And we thank you for it in our marriages. We know you're going to do it. Somebody needs a healing. And God, we ask you to heal from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. For We pray for renewed strength. We pray for the strength, God, that only comes from you. We pray, God, for, for the energy that only comes from you. And God, because of the trouble and because of the things that we've been experiencing, uh, it causes us to want to quit, causes us to want to give up, causes us to say what's to use. But God, I pray, God, that you'll heal our bodies right now in the name of Jesus. And God, we won't stop praying. We won't stop trusting until, God, you do what it is that you do. We give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. I pray, God, for every individual. It just doesn't need a physical healing, but a mental healing that's feeling all of the pressures of life and feeling all of that stress and all of that anxiety. We believe in you and we're trusting you, God, that you'll turn that situation around and you'll give them a reprieve. You'll give them strength. You'll give them help, God. You'll give them assistance, God, to be able to do what it is, God, to be able to, to endure, to do what needs to be done, God, to be able to pursue you and to chase you and to know, God, that you're able to do so. We thank you in advance, God, because we know that you're going to do it. We pray for all of the individuals, God, that are that are grieving and that are hurting and, God, that are experiencing loss and experiencing pain, uh, separation from their loved ones. We pray, God, that you'll just be strength to them. We pray, God, that you'll be the God of all comfort. I pray for Sister Lynn Sullivan, who mother transitioned. Of a few weeks ago, who this week she's going to say, see you later to her mother. We pray for, for your divine strength and your divine healing. We pray for sister, we pray for sister choices, uh, Stringfield and Diamond Martin, uh, choices and Diamond as mother and daughter. Uh, that are part of our ministry, uh, who, who, Sister Choice's son, Diamond's brother, uh, uh, yes, yes, was tragically murdered, uh, in a car accident. Uh, we pray for that family, uh, that you'll, that you'll be with them and you'll help them and you'll assist them. Uh, we pray for Sister Jamie, uh, and her and her family as, as they're preparing this Saturday, uh, to say, to say, see you later, uh, to Brother Kevin. Uh, we, we pray in the name of Jesus, you'll just be with all these families and all of these situations. And there may be more, maybe other individuals that have, that loved ones have transitioned and loved ones are going on. But I pray God that you'll be with them name by name and circumstance by circumstance. And God, that your glory, your power, your strength, God will wrap your arms around them all. We thank you in advance. God, because we know that you're going to do it. 
And God, we thank you for what you're doing in our local church. We thank you that you are giving, God, you, you, you've you given us some momentum. You've given us a fresh wind at Truth and Love Ministries. And we pray, God, that you'll just continue to breathe and continue to allow your will and your purposes to be done in our local church. We thank you, God, for the vision continuing to unfold. We thank you for everything that you spoke to us. And God, that you're still, God, you're causing it to come to pass. And we're looking for you to do it in the name of Jesus. Thank you for Lady C. I ask you to touch my wife and strengthen and my wife and be with my wife. I pray God that you will, because that, that's not just my wife, that's your child, most important. That's your daughter. I pray God that you'll touch her and strengthen her and be with her and continue to do what it is that you're doing in her and through her. Thank you for Shari, Kendall, Carson, C4, all of my children. I ask you to cover them and be with them, God, and, and, and bless them, God, according to your purpose and your plan uh, for their lives. And we thank you for it. And God, this is the confidence that we have in you. If we ask anything according to your will, God, you said we can have it. And God, we know it is your will, those things that we pray, because we prayed your word. Your word is your will, and your will is your word. And we thank you in advance. In Jesus' matchless name, amen, amen, and amen. Well, thank God for your truth and love, nation. I thank God for you. Appreciate you joining us for day two of our three days of prayer and consecration. Uh, man, um, this is not the end. Of course, we, we, we're doing a, another day in the morning at 6 a.m. And man, we're going to culminate all of this with a time of worship. Man, what a time of worship it is going to be. I can feel it in me bones. It's going to be a phenomenal time um, tomorrow night at 7 p.m., our first Wednesday. So I, I ask you to fight your way to get to the house of the Lord as we, as we bombard heaven, as we call on the name of the Lord, as we worship him. Man, we are, we, we, we cannot we cannot force revival. Uh, we cannot uh, manipulate a revival. We can't just call a revival and say it's getting ready to be a revival. But we can create an atmosphere that's conducive for revival. And when we're praying and when we're consecrating ourselves and calling on the name of the Lord and then there's worship and there's prayer, man, there's going to be a bomb going off. There's going to be there's going that's a recipe for revival. So I pray that you'll fight your way to the house of the Lord on tomorrow night uh, to be a part of that. But not only that. Uh, we are asking you if you need any, if you get any fasting guides or any of that, you can be able, uh, to find that, um, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the local church, at the facility. Uh, if, if you also can send an, we can send you an email of the digital copy of the fasting guides. You can reach out to Miss KJ. She'll get that to you. Um, we'll be doing what we need to do. Uh, to do, 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 uh, of course, we got our, our super summer service, uh, coming up. Uh, this coming Sunday, got some, got some, uh, got announcement um, that we'll we'll be talking about later today. So stay tuned to our Super Summer service this coming Sunday. It's going to be phenomenal. Uh, we're going to have water baptism this Sunday. If you if you desire to get baptized, you can be able to, to get that information into us, so we can be able to get you in the loop and you can be baptized or or your loved one uh, who's called on the name of the Lord. We just don't baptize just to baptize folks. We baptize people who who uh, who desire to have a, a close relationship with Jesus Christ and make Him their Lord and their Savior. Make sure you get your shirt, uh, man. You come by the church, be able to do that. Put your order in, do all of that. Oh, uh, do do do, and I think that's about everything, man. I love you guys. I thank God for you. Of course, you know we have the two services coming up. That's starting in September, uh. So we're gonna have two back the two services on the regular nine and eleven, and so we just want to keep on putting that information out there. So when September come, you won't be so surprised and say, "Oh no, I did not know. I did not know. I didn't know you're showing up." And still showing up at ten o'clock, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna be kind of gonna be kind of challenged at that particular time. So, man, I love you guys. Make sure you post on group me, and man, we're gonna um, see you in the morning again at six a.m. And then we're gonna see you tomorrow night uh, for our night of prayer and worship. I love you. Peace out. Here come to church. Bye bye.